Hi Jules, welcome back to part two on how to make a bat weave prop uh, for a bat. So, in the last video, we showed you how to make a, a frame for a bat wing from thicker floor wire and tape. Now, the next step is to putting the skin on the bat wing. So, without further ado, the things you will need for this is any color tissue paper. It doesn't matter because we're going to be covering that up anyway. This is just basically for the just basically for the frame. And so what you're going to need is a nice size piece of tissue paper. I've got two for both ones. You're going to need tape. And I have Mod Podge in this little bottle here. I've mixed it up already. It's in this little bottle. A little dish and a paintbrush to brush on the glue. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to. I have put parchment paper down to catch the excess glue. So, just to let you know, I'm going to put the wing down and we are going to cover this. We're going to fold it down and we're going to use some tape to secure to the frame. And we're going to fold over top of this wire. This is some sticky tape to be given. Alright, so we're going to fold this over top of the wing and we're going to tape it down. doing is it's making the frame or the form of the interior of the back wing. Not have to be perfect. Have you ever seen a bass wing be perfect? Have that of the frame, of the frame from back wing, that wing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tape the wires down to this. both of them on, on screen. Just to show you how it's done. So now we have the piece taped down. To that. Now, don't worry about the edging here because you're going to cut that to frame around our bat wing. But you need some serving so what you're going to need are just an empty, or not empty thing, but uh, some paper strips, some paper that's cut up and 
This is old encyclopedia paper that I have just for this purpose, for mod project and all that. Doesn't matter what type of paper you use because it's going to all get glued down. So I'm going to start off with just these little strips of paper. They're just basically flyer paper from your loose paper. All stripped up. Now, I'm shaking my Mod Podge, my homemade Mod Podge up. I'm going to pour it in the bowl. So what you're going to start doing is you're going to start going down these pieces of paper. Just be careful because tissue paper is thin. You will end up ripping it if you're not careful. So what you're going to just continue doing is just gluing all these pieces down. what gives the stability to the paper. breaks that means you'll be home soon but that was a school bus going to do is you're going to continue to do this until your wing is covered. Let it dry and do it again on the opposite side. The more layers you have with this, the thicker the wings become. It's good to have layers because we don't want it breaking, do we? This is what I'm using. I have on hand. Don't worry about the index. Is also going to be a prop for a Halloween party and a friend, a few friends are throwing. So, this is what she requested, and a subscriber also suggested that I make that. So, well, guess what? I decided to take her up on her challenge. And so, this is a very first time for me. So, if it doesn't work out, well, you're with me through trial and error.
like I said, you'll want to put several layers on this to get the sturdiness that you are looking for. Encyclopedia paper. I'm just using it up because I have a lot of it. tedious, monotonous, but in the end, it's going to look fabulous. It's a blue in the dish, and I might have to make some more for it. Make some more Munch Munch off one. Miss Lori Marie Jenkins would say, "Don't put it on her, um, put it on its underpants." <laughs> I don't know if I can say it like that. Not the one I'm about with, but it's not going to show. It's going to be covered up. This is just the, the structure of the. I 
think it may have covered up the stem, but it's going to go into the body. Yeah, I'll have to uncover that because that's going to have to go into the body, but that's okay. This is what you could do with old books that you have laying around. You can use them as Mod Podge fillers for your creations. done with this side and I'm going to have to break. So the next time you see me, both sides of this back wing will be done. Well, both of the wings will be done. And I will show you guys what to do next. place to attach to the bat itself, so going ahead and going over top of that up. Just making it strong. I'm off camera, I'm just doing the very bottom. Alrighty, more pieces and I'm going to end this video right here. So again, the next time you see me, both sides of this will be done and dry and we will continue on with the next steps on how to make this bat. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I love you all. Thank you for joining me today and uh, covering this bat wing that we have. See here, we have it all covered. And we're going to be doing the back side on camera. So the next time you see me, this will be dry and stiff. And we will begin to work on the next part of this bed. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.